Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn about running reports in NobCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So, reports are important for management. They allow to monitor store performance, track key metrics, and support decision making in running an online store. And NobCommerce reports provide access to sales and customer information, so it helps you in running a store sites smoothly or more effectively. So let's look into the administration section to learn more about reporting in OpCommerce. So in this tutorial, we'll be looking at different reports. First, let's look into the best sellers report. So if you're looking to see what are the best seller products of your NopCommerce store site, you can simply go to sales and right here you can see best sellers and here you can see list of all the products that are being selling really good on your knob commerce store site and it's really good to know what are the best seller products of your store because then you know that what customers are um, interested in buying and you can market more those pro products and you can make sure when somebody's coming to your store site it's always on the home page your advertisement all those things so basically you make sure that customer are getting what they want and they can easily access those products that are popular on your online store site so here is an example you can filter based on start date and end date and you can look into like order status you can filter all right so these are the best seller but these are in pending status right now these are in complete status and you can check the based on payment you can see that all right so these all these best sellers are from like these have been paid you can see these best seller products are basically these are in payment status pending so you can filter out different things you can see what are the billing countries manufacturers categories of these and different vendors you can see all right so I'm you can see like all right so I'm getting some products if you have more vendors that you can see that it, how many best sellers are from vendor A versus vendor B etc so there are different options another report we need to look into is purchase products never purchase so this is also a very important report that every store owner should always keep an eye on because it's important to know that all the products that you are listing on your store site, what products are not being sold uh, quite often or what people are not looking into, this gives you an insight of some product that would never been purchased. This way, you know that what to market. You can conduct some surveys and ask customers, all right, so why they don't like this product or what they will like. You can maybe advertise these products on social media site or make sure you write a blog or anything you can market uh, these products through different channels to make sure these products get proper exposure on your knob commerce site so here you also you can see different categories manufacturers vendors start date end date you can run the report and you can see all these products were never been purchased before all right so our another report that we'll be looking into is country report so if I go into sales and country and here you can see that which country is getting you more sales so I'm looking at United Kingdom I got two orders from UK and I got that total is more than two thousand dollars and I got two orders for United States, almost two thousand, a little less than two thousand dollars. Canada, I got one. So you can see different orders or see what country is bringing you more sales traffic. Basically, that that's what you can look for. And it's really important to know the uh, all these details about your store size to make sure that you advertise for uh, the customers living in these specific countries. So you can increase your sales even more. So another report that we'll be looking after this is customer report. 
for customer report you have to go in customers and right here customer report and customer report gives you a store owner general information about registered customers and their orders so you can see here I have customers by order total basically I can filter out by start date end date same thing order status payment shipping these filters makes it really easy to filter out different res results if you have like thousands of customers on your not commerce site you can even look into customer by number of orders how many orders they placed and you can see register customers in last seven days I have zero in this case 14 days last month or last year it's, it's really good to know that how many registrations you're getting on your customer so you can see that if your stores I need more marketing or advertisement so it, it's, it's really important to look into these reports periodically so after this report we'll be looking into another new report that now commerce offers out of the box it's called low stock report for low stock report you need to go into catalog and low stock report so the low stock report contains a list of products that are currently under stock in the example you can see here um, I have this product I'm running low on the stock stock for this I'm tracking inventory and I have zero quantity right now so which is why it's been showing in this report so you know you can always keep an eye on this report and make sure that you are always filling up your stock quantities for the products that you are selling to your customer so you never run into a situation where customers are placing order and you don't have stock available on your for your business so yeah so this is how you run reports in op commerce now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video hope this was helpful this video is brought to you by Knopf Commerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.